It's Joe Bayer representing for Five and today we're here to watch the Wayne Rooney documentary. Let's go speak to the people to hear what they have to say. Come on, let's go. When you first came across him, what were your thoughts as him as a footballer? Well, I played against Wayne when we was 12, 13 years of age, when I was coming through obviously at Manchester United, he was at Everton. Um, and at that point, we seen something special at that early age. And I turned around to one of my teammates, Alex Bruce at the time, and said, obviously that boy's going to be special, he's, he's going to be something different. And uh, it turned out that way, he's arguably the greatest English player we've ever had. This young kid came on for Everton, scored that goal. Um, David Seaman was still in goal, that's how long ago it was. Um, was you watching it like, who's this just, kid, just, what, what's you, going yeah, on? Yeah, you watch Match of the Day and, uh, you know, and obviously the famous quote is, remember, remember the, the name, name. Exactly. Wayne Rooney. Yeah. Oh. And you, you can't really forget it. So um, yeah, it was unbelievable. And listen, the career the Gaffer's had, I call him the Gaffer now because he is my boss. Um, he's been fantastic. And you know, in my opinion, uh, one of England's greatest ever talents. What is it that you want people to remember from this film when watching? I just think it's it's a chance for Wayne and Colleen to tell their story in their own words. Clearly, so much has been written for, you know about them over the years. This is them taking ownership of their story for the first time, and I think for them, you know, it's a big, brave decision for them to do. But I think I think people will be um, surprised by the final film. Uh, an honest review on his life. Um, you know, he's been an incredible football player, um, an incredible person, and a family man. Um, and I think that's everything we'll get to see in the film tonight. I think these, I think what people will see is um, I'm an honest guy, um, and yeah, I've made mistakes, um, and I don't think I know their mistakes off the pitch. It was all down to alcohol, plus me putting myself in bad positions and bad judgment, um, and mistakes on the pitch was down to me really struggling to deal with the pressure, pressure of. Um, win the trophy with your country, pressure of trying to drive your club towards more success and I really struggled and them two mixed put me in a really bad place. We know the player, we don't know the person. So to be out there, warts and all, and you know, to celebrate yourself, I think I think it's quite brave. Who would win in a punch up with you and Wayne? I think we've all fung our gloves up now. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're scrapping anymore. So I was filming a scene where he's playing snakes and ladders with Colleen and the kids and he took no prisoners and he would not let his kids win the game. He was sort of like, he wasn't having it and I think Colleen was getting a bit annoyed he was being so competitive with the kids. Was you concerned like, Wayne, come on, let's yeah. chill out here? I said, you don't let him win then. He's like, yeah. no way. Can you describe Rio in your words? As a person? Yeah, he's, listen, he's a fantastic guy. He's um, someone I've got a very good relationship with. He's been through very difficult moments um, over the last few years as well. And it's similar to, to me doing this now and Rio was one who inspires people um, with what he's done um, um, in opening up and, and in them difficult moments. So I hope this could, um, to some, some of the younger players, if they are struggling, can help them as well. Outstanding. One of the best centre halves we will ever see. Um, a great bloke as well. Uh, I've got big love for the Ferdinand family. Great respect. Uh, fortunate, to, fortunate enough to play with Anton uh, at Sunderland and uh, nothing but love for him. He's my hero um, growing up. Um, I grew up a Man U fan, but even when he was at Leeds, um, used to watch him, used to study him, try and emulate him. Um, what a player, what a guy, great personality, and um, yeah, it's just, uh, for me, he's the best. What were your thoughts the first day you saw Rio for England as a player, and then playing with him at Man United? Yeah, I knew, obviously, we always a, a top player. Um, you know, quick, good on the ball, good in the air. Um, not so sure about his white suit when he signed yeah. for Man United tonight, but <laughs> um, no, and, and then as a teammate, obviously um, a joy to play with. And I think I seen Rio's interview a few weeks ago, actually. Um, and we did, we used to argue every every day in training. Did you really? Oh, you saw it when he said, Yeah, said, no, because he as a forward, when you go and press the ball, um, if your defenders don't come up with you, then it leaves big gaps. And um, he very rarely come up, he was a bit lazy, so um, wow. we used to <laughs> argue a lot. Uh, then after that, you drop him tweets to pick him up in the morning. <laughs> Do you know what? I didn't actually know what was going on, yeah. uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, what's your favourite Wayne Rooney goal? <laughs> it's got to be the overhead kick, isn't it? <laughs> what, the one that came off your shin? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the one that came off his shin. Uh, yeah. Newcastle, because he's angry, and once he's smashed it in the back of the net, he's still angry as well. And, dare I say it, the overhead kick, it's a shinner. Straight away is the Newcastle one where he was shouting at the ref 
and then um, the ball landed to him. He smashed it in from 30 odd yards on the volley. So um, yeah, that was fantastic. Obviously, I know a lot of people probably said the overhead kick for, against uh, Man City, but for me, uh, that one was just uh, just raw emotion into the strike, put power through it, nearly burst the net. So um, yeah, that would be the one for me. He didn't even like celebrate properly, did he? No, he, I man. think he was still having to go at the ref. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> but but that's, that yeah. sums up the gaffer. Wayne, this is the big question for the video. What is your favourite Wayne Rooney goal? It's a few. I think the City one, obviously, is the one that's highlighted. Um, the one that came off your shin. It's hard a skill to do with your yeah. shin. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, the City one is one which is highlighted. Um, but then there's a couple against Arsenal which I really like the, the counter-attack goals. Um, I think that stuff we worked on. The overhead kick is more improvisation, but the, the counter-attacks against Arsenal is something we worked on. It's Joel Bayer representing for five. Amazing red carpet. Rio, over to you. Wayne Rooney, in my own words, um, passionate, aggressive, intelligent, tenacious, caring at times, um, and a good guy. Um, loves the game, loves football, lives and breathes football. Um, but if you're in the trenches and you want to look over your shoulder and have someone next to you, you'd be one of the first people that you'd want to see over your shoulder in them times of need in a football match when you want to get over the line, when you want to win, when you want to scare and hurt the opponents. The first day I saw Wayne Rooney play for England, actually, it was actually in training where I got a measure of what we're dealing with. He got the ball and I think he took on a couple of players and then chipped the goalkeeper. I think it was Paul Robinson in goal, he was actually a number one goalkeeper at the time. And the whole training session just stopped and just went, oh, I get it, I get the hype. And then we played against Turkey, I think it was his first game. And he was the man of the match, basically. He was unreal. And the measure of his performance was that after the game in the bar, I saw his parents and I remember going, as I was leaving, and walking up to him and saying, listen, make sure when he leaves ever and he comes to Man United, yeah? And the old man winked at me and he made it happen. <laughs> but yeah, in the end, he did turn up at Man United. First game for Man United, Wayne Rooney. <sighs> against Fenerbahce in the uh, Champions League. And even then, I played with him with England and trained and stuff like that, you know how good he is. But then you think, come to Man United, is he going to be able to settle? Is he going to be able to deal with a hype, £30 million pound player? Big, big um, target on his back now. But he scored a hat-trick. It was just like, phenomenal the way that he just turned up under the big lights. Week night, Champions League. This is the stage set for, that I'm set for. I'm set to play here. This is where I am live. This is where I feel comfortable. This is where I've now made it my home. My relationship with Wayne has always been a good one. We've always had a laugh, but always had the seriousness to us when we were out on the pitch and training. Always argued most days. We'd have an argument about performance, about him not holding the ball up, about something I'm not doing right in his eyes, him not shooting when I think he should have shot, him trying a different pass that he should have, he should have done different. Like just nitpicking at each other for a lot of the time in training, but because we wanted to get the best out of each other, we wanted to win. That was the driving factor. Um, I think as a, as, a, as a player, I've seen him, he developed into someone who just knew, how, knew where to be to score goals. Before that, he was everywhere, Roy the Rovers type, but then he just fashioned himself into being a typical goal scorer in the box as well, as well as out of it. Um, and then into management, I actually didn't think he'd go into management. I thought he might be a coach, but I didn't even really think he'd go into that. And then as soon as I see him really started to take it seriously, I went and see him a couple of times and I noticed a change immediately. Um, a desire to become a top manager, putting in the time, putting in the work, the hours, the effort, the details that he puts into it and the staff that he's built around himself now with Liam Rossini um, and others, as, as I think he's been very shrewd in that department because some might say, oh, that's two young inexperienced pe people as a coach and as a manager, but he seems to have picked wisely. So. I think he'll go on to have a successful career as manager. He's got the desire, the hunger for it, like he did as a, as a player, but now it's in management. My favourite Wayne Rooney goal, like I think most, a lot of people would be, I got two, I could say the, the, the City one, the overhead kick, but it came off his shin. So I'm gonna go for the Newcastle one, which just really epitomises, when you think about Rooney, Wayne Rooney and his pomp, that goal just epitomises everything about him. He's arguing with the ref, he's disappointed in the ref in a decision that had gone on before, screaming at him, frothing at the mouth. 
then he walks away from him, all of a sudden the ball just gets teed up for him perfectly on the volley, he just smashes it in anger into the roof of the net. Every kid and man on the planet's dream to be able to hit a ball that hard and that accurate in a game in anger, and it came off.